All right, let's complete the equations with numbers up to 1,000. All right, and this is where fact families come into play and are very helpful when you get stuck on a problem. So let's fill in the missing number. So we need to figure out what number plus 2 equals 9. Now, if you can't look at it and know immediately, you can use your subtraction to help you out. So what we're going to do is we're going to kind of work backwards with subtraction. We're going to go 9 minus 2 equals, and our answer here will be the answer that goes in that box. So what is 9 minus 2? That is 7. So that means our answer here is 7. 7 plus 2 equals 9. We use our known facts to help us find missing facts. Okay, this time blank plus 2 equals 7. Okay, so we're adding here. So that means I can work backwards and use subtraction. So I will go 7 minus 2 equals what? 7 minus 2 is 5. So that means 5 goes in that box. And is 5 plus 2, 7? It is. Let's try another one. Blank plus 5 equals 9. Now this time there's answer choices. We have 7, 1, 6, and 4. Now worst comes to worst, you can always guess and check. You can plug in the 7 and do 7 plus 5. You can try 6 plus 5 and see if that gives you 9. You can go on and on. But I like to use my subtraction. So I will work backwards. So I do 9 minus 5 equals what? What is 9 minus 5? It's 4. So that means 4 goes here. 4 plus 5 equals 9. I'm checking it. I know my answer is correct. Next one, blank plus 4 equals 8. All right, we use our fact families to help us. So since this is addition, we're going to use subtraction to help us. Working backwards, 8 minus 4 equals what? Or think to yourself, 4 plus what number equals 8? And it's 4, which means the 4 goes here. Is 4 plus 4, 8? Yes, it is. Good job. Next one. Blank plus 2 equals 4. All right. What's the opposite of addition? Subtraction. What will we subtract? We're working backwards. So we do 4 minus 2. What is 4 minus 2? It's 2. So that means that goes here. Is 2 plus 2, 4? That's what we were trying to figure out originally? Yes. So that's our answer, 2. Next one, 1 plus blank equals 8. Now, the blank number, the number we're trying to find is in the middle this time. Can I still use subtraction to find that missing number? Absolutely. It doesn't matter if your missing number is here for the addition problem or here. We can still use subtraction. What will I subtract? We're still working backwards. So it will be 8 minus 1. What is 8 minus 1? It's 7. So I'm going to take that 7, I'm going to put it in the box, and then I'm going to check. Is 1 plus 7 8? Absolutely. So we put 7 in that box. Our next problem says 3 plus blank equals 4. Can I use subtraction to help with this addition problem? Yes, please. Remember, we're going to work backwards. Okay, so what will my subtraction problem be? It will be 4 minus 3 because those are the two numbers we're given. What is 4 minus 3? It's 1. So that means the 1 
is our missing number here. Is 3 plus 1 4? Yes, it is. So that means 1 is our correct missing addend. Next, 2 plus blank equals 7. All right, still missing the second number. So I should be able to do 7 minus 2. What is 7 minus 2? It's 5. So that means what goes in this box? 5. And let's check. Is 2 plus 5 equal to 7? It is. So we put a 5 there. Next problem says 5 plus blank equals 8. Now again, if you're totally stuck, you can go down at the bottom and try each one, like 5 plus 0. Does 5 plus 0 equal 8? No. So I would eliminate that answer. Okay. But again, we can also use subtraction. So we can work backwards. 8 minus 5 equals what? It's 3. So where does that 3 go? It goes right in here. So 5 plus 3 equals 8. Let's do one more. 2 plus blank equals 5. All right, use the opposite of addition. Use subtraction to solve it. So we do 5 minus 2 equals. What is 5 minus 2? It is 3. So that means 3 is our missing add-in. And let's check it. Is 2 plus 3 equal to 5? Yes, it is. So 3 is our answer. Good job finding those missing numbers.